Good morning and welcome. You join me here in our greenhouse in Minster in Thanet on this Passion Tide Saturday. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may your, the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This morning in our diocesan calendar of prayer, we are praying for those with permission to officiate within the Thanet Deanery and we're going to pray for them by name. So we pray for Patricia Westbrook, David Chance, Susan Wing, Bernard Allen, Derek Duncanson, Peter Gorsden, Arthur Skinner, Peter Brown, Michael Cook, David Frost, Brian Griffiths, John Charter, Brian Sharp, Leslie Falliant, Sue Wone, Gordon Warren, Annie Shaw, Peter Dad, Kerry Thorpe, David Tate, Peter Rowe and Peter Russell. We thank God for their willingness to continue serving the church with great generosity and great joy. And we pray, particularly at this time, that they may be upheld and strengthened in their ministry amongst us. And in our Anglican Communion, we pray for the Church in Melbourne and for the Most Reverend Philip Leslie Freer. And we pray for the Episcopal Church in West Missouri and for the Right Reverend Martin Field. Today the appointed psalm is Psalm 23, that perennial favourite in which the psalmist calls us to place our trust in the Good Shepherd, the one who guides us, who leads us, and who loves us. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. As we prepare ourselves for the coming day, here is a prayer for each one of us. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight declaring your love for all the world blessed be god father son and holy spirit blessed be god forever amen <laughs>